Drinking Beer Regulation the Bohemian Duke Wenceslas IV issued an order stating that each citizen must drink approximately 1.5 pints of beer daily to maintain strength and health. It obligated citizens to drink a monthly amount of beer to ensure economic prosperity. Getting Fish Drunk Law This law was passed in the state of Ohio in the United States and is still in effect today. While it seems silly today, at the time, people would apparently catch fish like goldfish from ponds and fountains and amuse themselves by giving them alcohol to observe the effects. It is illegal to give alcohol or other intoxicating substances to fish if it causes them to become intoxicated or impaired. This includes giving beer, liquor, or drugs to a fish. The punishment for breaking this law is a minor misdemeanor criminal offense, punishable by a fine of up to $150 for a first offense and up to $1,000 for subsequent offenses. Potatoes Marketing Law In 2015, the law banned all Australian men from possessing or delivering more than 110 pounds of potatoes in Western Australia. The fine is $2,000 for your first offense and $5,000 for your second offense. No Yellow Cars Law In Ashgabat, Turkmenistan's capital, a peculiar law bans yellow cars from the streets. The law comes from the president's personal preference against the color yellow. While it may seem funny, obeying this rule is crucial as the government strictly controls public appearances and infrastructure aesthetics. Pig Name Ban The French law states that naming pigs as Napoleon is expressly forbidden. For context, Napoleon Bonaparte was a military commander of France and quite possibly among the most famous men in history. To name a pig often associated with filth and dirt would be a mockery of the French figure. Public Health Law The UK's Public Health Act of 1875, Section 47, prohibits members of Parliament from entering the House of Commons while wearing full suits of armour. Originating from medieval times, this law symbolizes a historical tradition that upholds decorum and order within parliamentary proceedings. A 500-pound fine for offenders underscores the seriousness of maintaining parliamentary etiquette. Banning of Clapping In Cambodia, it is illegal to clap during political speeches as a form of treason against the government. The law basically aims to suppress any public displays of opposition or criticism towards the ruling regime. Those caught violating this law may face consequences such as immediate arrest and imprisonment without trial. Women Wearing Lipstick In 1650, Parliament passed a law making it illegal for women to wear makeup, specifically banning lipstick. Those found breaking the law faced public humiliation as punishment. This law stemmed from puritanical beliefs that wearing makeup was ungodly, sinful, and associated with witchcraft and the devil. Heavy makeup was seen as especially improper, believed to disguise one's true appearance given by God. Anti-Spouse Nagging Law Under this unusual law in China's Jiangsu province, nagging spouses can face fines. Nagging is defined as bothering a partner more than three times a month. The law aims to promote harmonious family relationships. This law reflects broader social and cultural values in China, where family harmony and stability are highly emphasized. The Underwear Regulation This law was established in Thailand in the 1960s, during which society was generally against any form of nudity. Specifically, the law states that people may not be nude in public or wear clothing that is so revealing it offends public morality. Lack of underwear is considered a violation. Those found violating the underwear law can face a fine of 1,500 baht, about 150 US dollars. However, it is rarely enforced nowadays, especially in major tourist areas. Koala's Measuring Law in Queensland, Australia, measuring the length of a koala's back without a permit is illegal. This law reflects efforts to protect koalas and their habitats. By requiring a permit, authorities ensure that interactions with koalas are conducted responsibly and with proper consideration for their well-being. Koalas prefer their privacy when it comes to tape measure. Illegal Women Drivers Law in the 1990s, Saudi Arabia had a notorious ban on women driving which persisted until 2018. 
By restricting women's ability to drive, the Saudi government sought to control their mobility and independence as driving was seen as a symbol of independence. Although the ban has been lifted, Saudi Arabia's male guardianship system requires women to seek permission from male relatives for various activities. The Geese Regulation Law in Germany, it is illegal for geese to cross the road without permission from authorities. To get approval, geese must register with the police. This quirky law aims to maintain order among poultry. Anti-Ugly Laws Multiple cities in the U.S. during the 1970s, including Chicago and Miami Beach, passed laws banning ugly people from being in public view. While no longer enforced, these laws aimed to prevent eyesores. At least ugly people can now walk outside freely. Illegal Men's Fashion In Sparta during the 1700s AD, revealing male garments were banned. Men's tunics had to reach their knees at a minimum. Exposing thighs was considered feminine and punishable. They were very serious about acting in a way they thought was proper for men, and they even wrote a book about toxic masculinity. Mandatory Smile Laws A 1976 law in Massillon, Ohio, USA demanded that citizens smile at all times when within city limits. Frowning was prohibited at all times. While well-intentioned, it's quite literally impossible to force the single father of three with a mortgage to smile every Monday morning because your law said so. Illegal Cheese Rolling Regulation In Gloucester, England, the hazardous tradition of rolling cheese wheels down a steep hill was banned on safety grounds. After public outcry, this ancient pastime was revived as a legally sanctioned sport. Election Day Clothing Law In Malaysia, wearing yellow clothing on an election day is illegal. This peculiar law comes from Malaysia's where the color yellow has become associated with the opposition party, particularly the People's Justice Party. Yellow symbolizes protest and political dislike against the ruling coalition, Barisan Nasional, which has held power for decades. Mandatory Mustache Laws Under Saddam Hussein's regime during the 1970s, all Iraqi men were legally required to grow mustaches. This odd show of patriotism enabled the handy identification of traitors. Thankfully, Iraqi lip fur is now optional. Illegal Reincarnation Tibetan Buddhism, which is among the largest religions in China, believes in reincarnation, where spiritual leaders, including the Dalai Lama, are believed to be reincarnations of their former leaders. The Chinese government's demand for approval of reincarnation is viewed as a way to weaken Tibetan Buddhist leaders' authority and control the selection of their successors. Violating this law is said to result in imprisonment or fines of up to $10,000, though how they can prove one reincarnated isn't known. Duck Parade Law In Culver City, California, has an ordinance prohibiting herding more than three ducks down a street or thoroughfare at any given time unless specifically authorized by the city. Obesity Law in China, there are many regulations and initiatives to promote healthy lifestyles and combat obesity, such as dietary guidelines, public health campaigns, and workplace wellness programs. The punishment usually includes a deduction in pay, reduced promotion chances, and other methods to make sure you stop putting food in your mouth. Wearing Shorts Ban this law reflects Saudi Arabia's adherence to conservative Islamic values and strict dress codes, emphasizing modesty and decency in public appearance. Wearing shorts in public is considered inappropriate and disrespectful of cultural norms. Violating this law can result in penalties such as fines, public reprimands, or even arrest as individuals may be seen as unworthy to stay in society. Public Toilet Law if you need the toilet, you can knock on someone's door and ask to use their bathroom in Scotland, and by law, they cannot deny you. This derives from an extension of old Scottish common law regarding hospitality and is technically still enforceable today. Inappropriate Device Regulation In Texas, there is a law that prohibits the ownership of more than six inappropriate devices, including dildos and vibrators. The law also bans the promotion of said devices. 
While an individual can personally own six or fewer sex toys for personal use, it is illegal to own more than six in Texas. Those found guilty of violating this law face up to two years in prison and thousands of dollars in fines. Retailers and distributors of sex toys containing more than six devices can be prosecuted. Even lending a sex toy to a friend would be considered illegal distribution. The Pickle Law The Texas Pickle Law, often called the Pickle Bounce Act, mandates that a pickle must bounce to be considered a pickle. This unusual requirement was established to ensure that pickles sold in the state meet specific quality standards. The law states that a pickled cucumber must bounce when dropped from a certain height to be legally sold and labeled as a pickle. Prohibition of Dying Without Permission The law in the United Kingdom prohibits individuals from dying in the Houses of Parliament without permission. Originating from medieval times, it granted sanctuary to those seeking refuge, allowing them to pass away under royal protection. Prohibition of Chewing Gum in Singapore, chewing gum is banned for sale, purchase, and consumption except for therapeutic purposes. Enacted in 1992, the law aims to maintain cleanliness and prevent vandalism caused by discarded gum, which was becoming a significant problem in public spaces. Prohibition of Tattoos In Japan, the law prohibits bathing naked in outdoor hot springs if individuals have tattoos. This regulation stems from the association of tattoos with the Yakuza, Japan's organized crime syndicates. Tattooed individuals are often denied entry to hot springs to prevent potential conflicts or disturbances. The Ban Against Dying It is illegal to die in the town of Longyearbyen, Norway, due to the permafrost soil that prevents bodies from decomposing. As a result, a town law was enacted requiring anyone terminally ill to fly or sail away from Svalbard before death. This prevented bodies from accumulating in the town's frozen ground over time. Due to the permafrost soil which remains frozen year-round, bodies cannot decompose properly when buried in the ground. 